What's up, Dragon Brood? We are doing our series of upgrading, budget upgrades, mind you, for the free arena decks. This is video five of 10, and we are about to tackle the Orzhov Dungeon Delving deck. So this one actually didn't feel too difficult. So this was one of the easier ones. So this should be a fun one to go over, but let's go hop right into that deck list. As usual, don't forget if you want to get some stuff for your paper magic cards to protect them, maybe even ship them, carry them around to events, all that good stuff, check out shop.ultrapro.com. You can also get stuff with themes in magic, Pokemon, anime, just all types of things. And if you want to support your local game store, you can just take the name and the item number of what it is you're looking for, take it to your local store, and they can order it for you. So you can still support your local store, and everybody wins. And Ultra Pro is a big supporter of the local game stores. Now, as usual, we're going to go over this and we're going to talk about the cards we want to take out as well as what we're going to put in, because I think that's part of the learning process is understanding why some cards are bad. So starting at top here, we have Rangers Hawk. I'm not a huge fan of this card. It is a one one. It flies. So it's not awful to have, but it does have a pretty steep activation of three colorless and tapping it and tapping another untapped creature you control. So it's, it's a lot to ask uh, on this card, but I mean, we're on a budget, so maybe it gets to stay. Uh, Blood Chief's Thirst, one of the best removal cards you can have. It can hit creatures, it can hit planeswalkers, it hits creatures, pretty much anything, as long as you're willing to spend the right amount of mana. Super popular. The only downside is it is a sorcery, but that's okay in most cases. Uh, Thunderous Order is a weird one to have in here because it gains First Strike, Double Strike, Death Touch, Indestructible, Lifelink, Menace, or Trample, if your other creatures have it. We do have something with Flying. We do have something with Death Touch. I mean, but in general, this isn't a great card for the deck. It's just kind of okay. So this is probably our first candidate to cut. Demonic Gifts. Until any turn, target creature gets plus two, plus zero, and gains when this creature dies, return to the battlefield under your control. It's neat in this deck where we're going to have a lot of enter the battlefield triggers, which is pretty cool, so it coming back does something. But for the most part, this isn't a type of card you really want to play. I mean, it's nice to get the plus two bonus, but more often than not, it's not going to result in a lot. I mean, most of the time you're going to want to get the creature back, so you're probably going to play it in response to them killing something anyway. Or in a case where it's already going to die in combat, so the plus two doesn't really matter all that much. So yeah, probably looking to get rid of that one as well. Malakir Blood Priest was a weird one as well because there's only a few different things that would make up a party, uh, being Cleric, Wizard, Rogue, and Warrior. So I'm not really sure why this is here. This was more just they needed a two-mana thing, so this is one of our candidates to cut as well. No Priest of Oblivion is a rare. It's a Cleric. It can get something back from the graveyard. It has Menace. Don't mind this card at all, honestly. I'm just not sure if we'll spend more rares or not on it to build this out. Now, if you're trying to build a deck that's going to take advantage of the venture mechanic and choosing your dungeons and everything else, you really want to play a bunch more of this card. So, yeah, this is probably the first one we're going to spend extra rares on and max this out. Vanishing Verse is also a good removal card. Uh, kind of a catch-all against everything that's single color, which is great because that's a lot of the dragons right now. Uh, several of the class cards, stuff like Eska's Chariot. Like, there's just so many things. You know, mono green and mono white are actually decks, as are goblins, and that kills everything. So, yeah, just a really good card. Probably need to up the count on those. Cloister Gargoyle, not a huge fan of this, but you are able to complete dungeons fairly easy and get to where this is a 3-4 flyer. So I actually don't mind that. It's an uncommon, so we should be able to fit this in pretty easily. Nadar comes into play or attacks you get to venture in the dungeon and other creature control gets plus one plus one once you've completed a dungeon great card all the way around for this deck definitely want to play more of that then Aceraric Archlich we're probably going to just add one or two because again we're trying to get as many uh delve or I mean venture triggers as we can precipitous drop this is a pretty solid removal card honestly it's three mana to give something minus two minus two and then if you completed a dungeon it's minus five Either way, you're going to get to venture whenever you play it. So, yeah, I'm pretty big on this card in this build. I think we want to play more of this. Yonti Fang Blade. I'm kind of on the fence on this one. It does have Death Touch, which is nice. It means your opponent likely doesn't want to block it very often. If it deals combat damage to a player, 
you get to venture so that's kind of cool too your opponent either like gives up a creature or two or you get to venture it in, into the dungeon so uh, kind of 50 50 on that one i actually like the upside on this is pretty good considering it's a three mana two two Veteran Dungeoneer, this one I'm kind of not sure about, but again, we're on a budget, so a 4 mana 3-4 is not great, but when it comes into play, you do get to venture, so that's kind of nice, and a 4 toughness isn't anything to sneeze at, it's just kind of meh, it's reasonable, but unexciting. Then we have Barrowin of Clan Undar, and this card, same thing, enters the battlefield, ventures in the dungeon, and this is more of what you want to be doing for 4 mana, because you get additional abilities. Now, it is only a 3-3. And when it attacks, you return up to one t creature card with mana value three or less from your graveyard if you've completed a dungeon already. So once you complete a dungeon, you get to start getting stuff back, which is pretty sweet. Also, consider the fact that this will let you get back Nadar, who costs three or less. So that's pretty cool to have that as a combo trick, when a combat trick, whenever you attack and get that back into play. There's a several Quill Command. Not sure how I feel about this card. It's kind of fine. It does a little bit of everything. Nothing flashy, but very versatile. Closing Statement is a removal card, but I don't necessarily like it all that much. It's an instant, which is awesome, and it puts a counter on the thing, but it's also kind of slow, and even if you use it during your instep to get the reduced cost, you're still end up paying three mana to do a thing to, I don't know, tap out on your turn. It's just not that exciting overall. Thwart the Grave is okay. Let you get stuff from the graveyard to the battlefield. And like I said, we do have a few things that fit the different... Uh, party mechanics here so we have several clerics and i believe a, a rogue or two so um we'll see how this goes lands we have nine planes ten swamps one bright climb pathway four snowfield sinkhole so nothing too special there but let's go ahead and hop over and take a look at what the final upgraded version looks like okay here we are we decided to go ahead and just keep the two rangers hawks uh, there was probably some things we could take out and replace these with but again we're on a budget so we try to stay at nine rares or less that we're adding so I wanted to make this as budget as we could. Went ahead and upgraded the Blood Chief's Thirst because we need some good removal and just playing an uncommon isn't bad. It's a useful card to put in other decks. So we just went to four of those. Kept the one Null Priest of Oblivion because the card's just pretty solid overall. Uh, as expected, we did increase this to a full four on the Triumphant Adventurer. And that's already three rares. We added one more Vanishing Verse, so that's four rares. Uh, added a fourth Cloister Gargoyle so we could get some more creatures in there. Added two Nadar, so that brings us up to six rares. One Aceraric uh, Archlich, which is a mythic, so it still goes toward our count. So what is that, seven rares? And then we added a to a full set of Precipitous Drops, uh, which is, I think is really good for this deck, just other solid removal. Yanti Fang Blade. I think we kept the same number that were in the original list, so we didn't move this out. Kept the Veteran Dungeoneer. Kept the Burrowin and kept the Silver Quill Command. So that's only, what we say, seven rares? It's actually not too bad overall for this list. If we wanted to swap some things, I could see cutting either the Ranger's Hawk or uh, something like the Veteran Dungeoneer to put in more Vanishing Gargoyle wouldn't be bad. Or if you wanted to put in some uh, like Shambling Gargoyle or Shambling Ghast could actually be pretty good too. Lands, we really didn't do much. We kind of left everything the same, except we swapped, I believe, one planes for one dungeon descent just to have another way to try to venture with this deck. But overall, yeah, I think this was pretty pretty solid. Wasn't too hard of a change to make, and this at least lets you do all the venturing things you want to do, whereas the previous list didn't really take advantage of the mechanic. Now you have tons of stuff that has keyword venture effectively. We're talking about Ranger's Hawk, the Triumphant Avenger, Cloister Gargoyle, uh, Nadar, Aceraric, Precipitous Drop, the Veteran Dungeoneer, Fang Blade, Borrowwind, like all pretty much most of the deck has the word venture. So this is much more likely to do what you're trying to do with it. As always, let me know what you think about this down in the description below. And check out my other content. We have lots of stuff. We stream, we've got a whole Discord, you can come by, say hello. Uh, just all types of things. So check all that out. And as always, remember to be awesome. That's all I have for you for now. We'll see you next time.